Okay, I have another message. I saw the tribulation. Tell my people persecution will come to America. In the early morning hours of February 17, 2017, I had a powerful night dream vision. All of my physical senses and emotions were acute as I experienced what it will be like towards the very end of the Great Tribulation, after the remnant church has been taken. I found myself suddenly running with a group of other believers who had come to know Jesus, but only after the remnant was removed. We were living underground and hiding in a large but abandoned building of some sort. There was no electricity and had not been for some time. I saw oil lamps and candles everywhere, and it was the only light we had. We all were dressed in oversized clothing and head wraps, doing our best to stay as inconspicuous as possible. There were times we had to go out for items such as salt and oil and would barter with things we had found and collected for this reason. Food was scarce to say the least. Water was also something we were having to look for constantly and most important for survival. As we traveled, we would do so or only in the early pre-dawn hours or at sunset to do our best to avoid being targeted and taken away to be killed. I was told by Father that this was the United States after many of the judgments had happened, and he made me to understand that millions had died. The streets were very empty and there were only a few small businesses opened and everything was run by the New World Order. Martial law kept everyone in check, and as we traveled we were watched and controlled by gunpoint. There were certain paths that had to be taken, and if we were found traveling any other way, we were shot instantly. We never spoke while outside of our building. There were crucifixions in the street, a gruesome and horrible sight of anyone who publicly confessed Christianity. The bodies once dead were then left where they were hung. Christianity was long gone in this country. Our group did the best we could to go out at night and take these precious souls' bodies back to where we were hiding, although we had no proper, proper way to bury them. I saw rows of them on a far wall of our hiding place, wrapped in sheets and blankets, as this was all we had. I remember discussing with the others what we were going to do with these martyrs. It was a terrifying vision, one I will not forget, as these prophetic encounters are more than real. I felt the tangible fear and smelled and saw more accurately than we hear and do now. When it was over, Father's exact words were, Tell my people, tribulation will come to the United States. This was all I heard in direct words. This message is yet another warning for all those who continually reject Yeshua's sacrifice and they hear now and have not taken seriously the future they face if not born again. Of course, many will die in disasters and judgments, yes. But what if you are one of the ones that lives? Father wants you to know that this could be your fate. Please take this message very seriously if you are lukewarm or have not accepted Yeshua HaMashiach as your personal Savior and King. This is so very real, and this will come to pass, just as all his words have. Time is not on your side. For those of you who do read these words, who do follow Yeshua and have accepted him, do not be afraid to send this to family and friends. You have nothing to lose, as those who follow Yeshua have lost it all anyways. The earth is not our home. Pass this along to everyone as a warning. One day soon it will be too late. Love and Shalom. Julie, Daughter of the King. As with every other word, please take this into your prayer closets and seek confirmation. And I pray the blood of Jesus over this video message and over any and all who are led by the Holy Spirit of God to listen to it. In Jesus Christ's most holy, holy name. Get your hearts in order and your houses swept clean so that we will not have to be here for this. In Jesus' name I pray. Glory to God in the highest. Amen and amen.